And in today's lab, uh, we are going to perform certain tasks that uh, that includes creation of uh, container registry, Azure container registry, uh, creation of image through a Docker file, and then uh, pushing that image to ACR. Till now, uh, you must have seen these steps before as well, uh, if you are following uh, my videos. Uh, but now, the entire purpose of this exercise is creation of image, tagging it with uh, ACR, pushing it into the ACR, and then use it to create the Azure Container Instances. There are two ways we can create the ACIs. From the image itself, there is an option, and you can create it through the portal or through the CLI. So that's what we're gonna see. So let's get started. So right now I, I, I'm logged into my Linux VM. The prerequisite is Docker. I have this uh, Docker installed on, the, on my machine. And if I do LS on this, I have this Docker file right now. Let me show you by doing cat. So uh, this is very, very uh, small or simple Docker file where Alpine is the base image. All right, so we are going to create image with the help of uh, this uh, Docker file. Okay, it's let's go ahead and run the command Docker image build. We're gonna name it as uh, my image zero one. Uh, and where is the Docker file in the root directory? So we got this created. You can see all the steps as per the Docker file, right? Now you must be wondering why it just appeared on the screen without even showing any progress bar or downloading and things like that. It's just because before I, I always, before I, I record the lab, I also perform it, right? So that if there would be anything interesting that I could come across, I'll share it with you guys. That's why, because it is there in the local machine. That's why uh, it just appeared. So if I do Docker images, so my image 01 is here with the latest tag, because that's what we have done as of now. So let me clear the screen and uh, quickly go ahead and create the registry through the Azure portal. Now I'll click here new because I have I have shown you how to create the registry from a Cloud Shell uh, CLI. This time I'm, I'm I'm taking the opportunity to show you through the uh, portal. Uh, all right, let me create a new resource group. This is ACI uh, Lab, so I'm going to use ACI RG as a name registry is my reg ACI, or let me make it a little simple, ACI, ACR, three to one. I got it, name is available for me. Now I have to choose the location. Uh, UK South is UK West. Oh, there is no availability zone for this location. If I go ahead and choose, let's suppose East US is the very uh, location where we have almost all the options. Somehow it's not showing us, it's all because I'm choosing standard. Let's see it premium, right? Now, if I choose the premium, I could have this uh, enable the zone redundant, but it's fine. We only need the basic one. That's all we need. Let it be in the East US, that's fine. Public is okay with us. Let's review and create. Encryption is also there. You know, it is it is disabled uh, as a customer managed, but it is encrypted by uh, Azure managed keys. So I'm um, creating our ACR with the name uh, ACI ACR three to one, and it's been created. Uh, let's go to the resource ACI ACR three to one. And if I click on uh, repository, that's what you're gonna see. There's nothing here as of now. So let me get back to my uh, Linux 
machine. And now what I need to do, I need to tag my image with this registry. And what it is, it is aciacr321.azurecr.io. It's uh, that simple. So the Okay, so I need to check whether my image is working fine or not. So let's open the uh, port and run it as a container in, in a detached mode. Open the port 8080 and it will come to AT and uh, my image, my image 01, that's what it is, I think. Yes, a train, a train. Now locally it should work. So let me try to curl it to HTTP slash slash local host on 8080, right? Uh, it's not working very well. No, I need to check why it's not working because it says some, some handshake is filled the tls connection was not properly terminated uh okay let's let me see docker uh, container let's okay there is uh this container which is up with my image zero and it should work right so we have done, seems like, okay, let me try one more time, curl. Okay, it's HTTPS, I did, that's why it's TLS, my bad. But it is, you see, it's working. We have this uh, output, it's dark people. <laughs> so it is always good to, uh, get issue or uh, encounter any kind of problem while performing the lab. Only then you, you, your learning would be real. You would have a lot more to learn from a single lab if it breaks. Uh, all right, enough of wisdom. Let's get back, clear it. Now we know our uh, image is fine. It runs pretty well. So what I need to do, I need to tag it with the ACR that I've created. Uh, with the name ACR is ACI ACR three to one, right? But before I do that, I need to log in to Azure. It says go to device login, put it this. Let me open this up. Microsoft device login. Now, what is the code? This is the code. Copy and paste. There we go. Now, uh, I'm logged in successfully to my uh, Azure subscription I'm just waiting for it there we go now let me try to log into my acr login and what is the name of my acr it was aci acr three two one ah successfully logged in wonderful now i need to quickly uh, tag my image And I can easily do that with the help of uh, Docker tag or Docker image tag. Which image? My image, zero one. Uh, with what? With my ACR name, ACI, ACI, ACR. 321.azurecr.io that I showed you already, or slash for what? For my image, my image, and I'm gonna give it a version as v1. Cool, enter. All right, successfully tagged. If I do docker image ls, 
uh, here here it is my uh, ACI ACR three two one my image version one. Now I can easily push it to my registry. Okay, it would be Docker push. Uh, you can also use Docker image push, like using the management command for the Docker. But this is not a Docker class. This is all about ACR and ACI. So Docker push where we gotta push it to. I could simply copy this because this image name has the information of the registry and I, that's all I need. Now it is pushing, 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 pushing and waiting, uh, right? Post, I just give it a minute. As soon as this is pushed, we'll go and check this on uh, uh, Azure portal. There we go. So why we do not have any option to refresh here, that's strange. But that's fine, we usually have, that's what I'm saying. Uh, go to a repository, there we go. We have my image option and I can refresh it here. This is the version one, I can click here. Great. Now you see it says run instance is the grayed out. I could easily run this uh, image from here into uh, Azure Container Instance, or I can simply go ahead and do Azure Container Instance. Uh, container Instance, come on, Container Instance. I can create Container Instance from here as well, utilizing what? Utilizing Azure Container Registry for the image. Okay, now what I wanna show you, uh, which, which is very important, if I go back to repository, you'll find under my image repository version one tag, I was getting what? Grayed out. I'm not able to create it. Why is that so? Because I need to enable the admin to have this working for me. It is enabled now. Now I should have this run instance option as not grayed out. You see that? Now I can run the instance from here as well instead of going through the Azure Container Instance page. Let me call it ACI01. Uh, this is the image that I'm gonna use. It's a Linux, everything is fine. Number of code one, memory 1.5, AT port, click OK. While it is creating from here, let me quickly show you from here as well. Create container instance, it got failed. We need to check that. Uh, it says bad request, but for what? There is one more option to learn something new today. There is another error. It says uh, container group ACI01 is not accessible. Please check the image and registry credentials, okay. That is absolutely fine. Let's get back to the container registry. Access keys. Everything seems okay. Come to the overview. We are good. Okay. Oh, okay. What we need to check, we need to check East US. It should be in East US when we are creating because cross region is there in only in East US. Why there was an error? Let's see. Okay. ACI 0101. Click OK. Sometimes we get that strange errors like bad request deployment is failed. Uh, sometimes we get proper information so that we could troubleshoot. Uh, OK, while it is deploying, hopefully this time it will. Uh, I'm not going to any other, uh, not any other resource to create as of now. But sometimes it happens because one deployment is in progress and I I went ahead and click on ACI through the portal maybe because of that, but let it, let it go. It wouldn't take much. And I could also now, let's go to Azure Container Instance. Now it is, it is being created, it's pending. Let me create new. This time it is successful. You can see there was nothing as such I did go to ACI, come on, come on, come on, ACI RG, uh, give it a name, ACI 0202, 
and use the container registry this time we are doing the same thing through the portal we have aci acr this is the image this is the information networking public advanced we can give the, the, the dns in the network that was in the network sorry dns now i clicked on the advanced you can apply the restart policy here tag and review and create nothing much because uh, we are not getting into into the depth of aci acr this is just the lab how to utilize aci and acr that's what it is so we have seen we have created the image through the docker file we have ta we tagged it with our acr we created the acr we have pushed the image to the acr created the aci through the image uh, and also through the portal well that's a very brief uh, lab i hope you, it will give you a pretty good idea how it works and we will get into the depth of aci and acr in the upcoming videos thank you for watching have a good day bye bye